Napoli. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Nobody knows who's going to win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. And yes, he is the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Watch the footwork. Watch the hand speed. No one does it like Ali. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself, one of the greatest fighters of all time, a sparkling record, and one of the best to ever do it. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Rockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Well, I hope you brought your sunscreen. You're going to need it as we have our main event underneath the bright, sunny sky. The heat of the crowd, the action, the noise, that carnival atmosphere. It's a lot to take in. Good luck. You're expecting an all-action slugfest. This fight has a real good flow to it. Back and forth they go. Beautiful counterpunch. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Swing and a miss. Nice counter. He fails to score with that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarm and you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Oh man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push them off, make them go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Hit them low on the blind side of the referee. Get them angry. <coughs> Misses with that jab. He just gets out of the way. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The exchange punch. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Now on to the second round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back.
He misses with that jab. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got chilled. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. A perfect counter shot. He got out of the way that right hook. So that left lands. The counter punching. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. Turn the tables in this next round. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you... Bell start round three. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. You've heard the phrase, finding a second wind. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. We've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. That's counter scores. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. He missed with that jab. That left counter was perfectly timed. This fighter's certainly not going to out-throw their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Missed him with that uppercut. Down her right. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum. they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. Here's the bell for round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Punching from both these fighters. No rest for the weary. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. And with the right counter. Both of 
living men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice job flipping that left uppercut. Perfectly matched, but still for still, top for top. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Big shot, and down goes Ali! One, two, three, four, five! At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. To make or break a fighter. Time for the fifth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? He blocks the right uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Skill for skill, top for top. It's like a match made in heaven. He blocked that jab. Don't let this fighter speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Nice counter shot. Both men step back for just a moment. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. This is the beginning of round six. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice counter punch. Trying to answer back. Can they figure out the combination to this state? They continue to miss. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Through the hook, didn't land. Oh, 
those punches add up. That punch lands. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. The counter left. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it was like two different leagues. There's the bell for round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? You can't score with that uppercut. Good counter punch. That left hook doesn't find its target. Great counter right hand there. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter right hand again. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. No doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice job by him to block that jab. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Nice exchange here from both men. Can they figure out the combination to this day? Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Uh, 
This is not good strategy. No sh Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Both fighters start to get tired as we start round nine. Couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluffer. Beautiful counter shot. The right hook misses. And he just missed with that left jab. We hear that old phrase second win. You've got to fight it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run because otherwise if they deviate from the game plan they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. These two are the perfect dance partners. Just misses. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. And he just misses with that jab. Neither man really defended. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. to round 10. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Swing and a miss with the hook. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. So much firepower here. This is all about ego. And safety is out of the window. Tactics are out of the window. They don't need gloves, they need beer glasses. The way they're fighting, this is ridiculous. Good left counter that lands. Nice punch. Yeah, it doesn't score. That left counter punch will score. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Offensive 
play, landing that left counter. And around that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. And there's the bell to start round 11. After that last round, something has got to change. I hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Covering up. Time great go down. And now they're right back into the front. He takes the knee, buys time, collects himself. Five, six, seven, eight. doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. That right hook won't score. Just when you thought we'd see a low in the action, here we go again. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominant. Dominant without a doubt. Made it look so, so easy. But who thought we would have made it to 12? Pulling off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a counter shot. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, and fight. You either give it them back to that's where they're comfortable, or you play cards, no fool. Nice shot with the left. Both men step back for just a moment. Counter punching from both these athletes. Good right hand. That counter shot lands. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. Be a lot harder. It could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like that? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. The three judges agree, and we've got a unanimous decision. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, but what a result. Yeah, the hate the grind is when the blood is time I motivate I work too hard too long and I'll be in the conversation I'm keeping up way up ain't nothing less than domination I take the game and stay with lock and key and combination You know that hot side, don't focus on what's hot side I'm keeping on until the night night, it's my time and a bright light Don't ever fan, don't mind, I keep it pushing, don't ever give them a sound They will let me when you shot it, but they wanna talk about you when you down This rivalry has been brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, The Rock, Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. In the red corner. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to be. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. He blocked that right hook. Great counter right hand there. Defense is not an option for these two. Both men step back for just a moment. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you've got form in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both sides have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of them. <laughs> He 
neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Good counter punching for both these athletes. He just missed with that left jab. Nice exchange here from both men. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Go out there. What do we expect to see here in round two? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. So much firepower here. Watch the right hook. He prevents that left uppercut from scoring. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. They exchange punches. There's a scoring blow. really defending themselves. Punch, counter punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them. Finally. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. He's sharp. Threw the hook, didn't land. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little bag in a big bucket. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. It's not a match made in heaven. Missed him with that uppercut. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. A 
very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That left counter comes to score. There's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Back at it in round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchange here from both men. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them. Skim and go for speed. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think, thinking, come on, boy, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. Great one. Time for the fifth round. After that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. He got out of the way that right hook. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you've got a fast fire, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Nobody home with that hook. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. You gotta let your hand, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Counter shot landing. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell sometimes it could be the sweetest sound. Great work. Yeah, I like that.
that round. We're going to feel good. There's the bell to start round six. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. And he fails to score with that left hook. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. These two are the perfect dance partners. They score again with the left hand. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. He blocks the hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ear. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Round seven, here we go. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Looking to land the hook. Swing and a miss with that hook. Good counter right hand again. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can go through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Got out of the way of that right hook. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Got someone with a hand speed that this Rocky Marciano covering up, trying to buy some time to get out of trouble. So he's going to take a knee here and get the mandatory eight count. Five, six, seven, eight. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. left hand there. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there. Get the job done. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. There's the bell start round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going.
That right uppercut misses. That punch lands. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scene, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? That one lands. Can they figure out the combination to this state? Punch scores. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them. More than happy. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw, look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. God, we know one of these fives can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That one will count. Last 10 seconds of the round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What do you have to do differently? Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. There's the bell start round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Both men step back for just a moment. Show us something, Rocky! No, we don't see a knockdown! Perfect counter land. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. Hook misses. <laughs> By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the chart. with the judges for card three, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there. There's the bell for round ten. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Left shot land. Land with the right counter. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed.
This can be so frustrating when you're with such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Changes from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. They scored that left hand. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Carries the way to left up the cup. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Frazier in trouble! Oh! I heard that never by foot. He is down big time on the score. Wow, it looks like two different leagues. You weren't large enough, but you're still running the power up. So let's just get the jab and don't get carried away. Oh, yeah, that's it. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Good left counter that lands. Marciano fighting to survive. He's never been knocked out. Much better. So he will take a knee here and get a nice reprieve from the action. Five, six, seven, eight. Both men step back for just a moment. You'd like to see more jab. You believe what we are seeing. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges... And there's the bell to start round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skim and go for speed. Another scoring shot there. Not a defense here at all. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwear. They're relaxed. 
they pressure it, they know they just have a quick burst, boom! In a split second they've let four shots go, their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. The nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that nosh above you, and so i got to respect both of them more than happy. Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Another win. Another unanimous decision victory. Unanimous. You know what? Smart. Smart, that is. A total change of style to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. I'm Todd Grisham, and all the seats have been sold. We're live at the Empire Fight Camp. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. And he'll be taking on Smokin' Joe Frazier. Only 6 feet tall even. 229 pounds, but he hits harder than any man alive. Oh my goodness, look at the reach difference there. That reach is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Because if that jab is used and that right hand is followed, there is going to be a problem tonight. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself. One of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. You've heard of people dancing underneath the moonlight? We're expecting an all-out offensive display. Both men step back for just a moment. Like to see more jabs. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you got form in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Hit him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. Left counter scores. That one lands. The 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. He blocked that right hook. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Another scoring shot there. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got it. There's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Caution being thrown to the wind. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice job landing that left counter punch. And he fails to score with that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to show both it off and blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One point changes everything. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominant, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Let's get it started in round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good left hand. <laughs> left punch. <laughs> I've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit, and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This is all about ego. Fake it is out of the window. Shot picks are out of the window. They don't need gloves. They need beer glasses. The way they're fighting, this is ridiculous. He 
and parries away that left hook. This fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Obviously, the fighter is death, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the tournament's got it. Here's the bell for round four. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round, because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once they're dead, and the fight will be over. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. And they figure out the combination to this shape. He got out of the way of that right hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Catch and shoot. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw, look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He blocks the uppercut. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt. There we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Both men step back for just a moment. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is in big 
trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell, sometimes it can be a... This is the beginning of round six. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. And he misses with that jab. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Big shot from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Still for still. Tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. And he misses with the left uppercut. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. for them finally come. And here we go, it's round seven. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He just misses with that big right hand. Neither man really defending themselves. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Good counter right hand again. He blocks the right hook. They have no respect for each other's punching power. This fight has a real good flow to it. He threw the hook, didn't land. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Jump they don't get complacent. You think you're fall over. And there's the bell for round eight. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Left counterpunch with score. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. 
Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close hand. That left counter was perfectly timed. And he parries the right jab away. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. These two are the perfect dance partners. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Missed him with that uppercut. He blocks the hook. Last 10 seconds of the round. No speaker who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I see. see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Both men step back for just a moment. wanted action and they are delivering <coughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round correct me if I'm wrong but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed you've got to get your timing right let me explain to you about a fast fight a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork they relax they're confident they know they just have to quick burn boom in a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Exchange punches. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. There's a counter shot. Well, he is glad to avert that bell. This is the tenth. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get stuck it in. They can fight your fight. Hold and tie them up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you... So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.
They've been talking the talk. It's now time to walk the walk. This is the Lighthouse Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only 5 foot 10 inches tall. One of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. And his opponent, Deontay Wilder. He is the bronze bomber. Six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is dead. He is Rocky Marciano. 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. Deontay Wilder, he... All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Todd, do you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win? And we're underway in round one. He threw the hook, didn't land. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. And a counter left. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. The crowd has settled into their seats. They are ready to see something special at this amazing venue. Todd, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Both men step back for just a moment. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. She misses with that jab. There's a scoring blow. Despite what the judges scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look... There's the bell for round two. The 
there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. And he fails to score with that left hook. Perfect counter shot. That hook was off target. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. The spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Ruggers will hit anything and everything. Your head, your ear, your elbow, your rib, your belly button. They are an absolute terror. to score with that right hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. A perfect counter land. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it was like two different... Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. And he just misses with that jab. He just misses with that big right hand. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize that link. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. These two are the perfect dance partners. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. That counter shot lands. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Do you believe what we are seeing? Good counter punching. Both of these men showing it. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy, if they keep this same kind of... On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. But it's got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. You 
can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Northman stepped back for just a moment. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good left counter that lands. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give them back to stop where they're comfortable, or you play calm and they're cool. He blocks the hook. Beautiful counter punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter right hand again. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecard. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Here we go in round five. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Why aren't they descending? I want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point there. It's over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them. Skim and go for speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not a lot of defense here at all. He parries away that left hook. When are we going to see a jab from these two? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter, and the corner got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there. Get the job done. Look across at him. Look at him now. Fine. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him. This is the beginning of round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Nice counter shot. Neither man really defending themselves. Down 
they figure out the combination to this thing. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the gym, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's all like what you outbox the fight and beat them on point. You'd like to see more jabs. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're, this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punch. He is down big time on the score. The bell sometimes it could be the sweetest sound. Then there's the bell for round seven. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. No rest for the weary. Can they figure out the combination to this thing? He misses with that jab. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. offense all the time. Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! One, two, three, four, five, six. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. I love the response though, got back up, took a deep breath, got right, brush it up, get on with the job. Hey, round eight, and we're off again. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they're on shaky legs. They're a, a nut clear away from getting stopped. Left counter score. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? 
Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, come to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shot. Get out of the way! And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. That left counter punch will score. They just missed with that big right hand. A swing and a miss. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Marciano in trouble, do you believe this? So he will take a knee here and get a nice reprieve from the action. Absolutely gassed out, didn't know what to do and hurt on top of that. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Body and head, feet smart, change your angles. Go out there and finish him. We enter the night. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on the end. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until the sense of the comeback. <laughs> nice job landing with that right hand counter. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. She's got a match made in heaven. Still swinging with nothing left. Fighter sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard you cannot kill battle. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think it... We've made it to round 10. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure He just missed with that left jab. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you start yeah, thinking, you've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fager that pickpocket them. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice job landing that left counter punch. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's the effort? Here we go in the championship round, round 11. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Just missed with that hook. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Big shots for both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them. More than happy. Yeah. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Despite what the judge... So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.